What's up guys, it's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to upgrade a black box light. Now this LED black box, I got it was like a Sea Glade um, 2017. So this is even before the Vipar Spectre. This is old school. It still has one power cord and it has a little clicker or remote to control it. But it was like the first generation that and it's from 2017 so I know it's not the greatest so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through how you can upgrade this light and get a little bit better spread get a little bit better coverage not nuke your corals so this light is circa 2007 August of 2007 you can kind of see that there's tons of whites in there and I have the whites turned down to like 10% the blues at 35% now one of the things you can do right off the bat to make sure you don't nuke your corals is to raise it off the, you know, the surface of the water. Don't mind this yellow color, I put AB plus in here because I added a couple more corals. So if you watched any of the previous BRS investigates, um, when they looked at this, this is like a laser beam hot spot. So they had to raise it up 14 inches off the water surface to get somewhat good spread. Now I have it 13 inches off because I'm kind of lazy and didn't want to do anything. Um, else about that. But now that I added some more coral in here, I've got like $300 worth of coral. I kind of want a little bit better spread, a little bit better coverage. I mean, I could have done that previously, but you know, I totally was lazy and had other stuff going on. But now that I have some time, I'm going to show you what I'm actually going to do. So I'm planning on taking out some of the lenses on the lights because these lights are at 90 degree optics. And if you looked at any of the new lights, they're like 120 degrees or greater to get better spread. So these are very, very focused lenses. So I'm gonna take it apart, show you how to take it apart and take out the lenses. I'm also going to add a little diffuser to it. Now, some people use um, acrylic and frost it over. Um, I'm just gonna use just basic acrylic and attach it on um, with some tape. I have some black tape that's gonna kind of look pretty slick on it. One of the things I noticed with my previous frag tank, that little 10 gallon I had, um, I had an acrylic top to it. And I only had the light about, you know, eight, 10 inches off the surface. But what I didn't know is that that acrylic top helped diffuse the light super evenly. Well, you know, as evenly as you can with 90 degree optics. But let's get into this. I'm gonna take off the optics, take this apart and show you what I'm gonna be doing. So I have it posted up here on the styrofoam because I got a new desk and I have a bunch of styrofoam laying around my um, my garage. So might as well put it to good use. I'm not sure I'm gonna scratch it. And who cares if you scratch these lenses because I'm pitching them anyway. So let's take this apart. All right, this is the inside of a black box LED. I guess I should turn my fan off so you can hear me. But yeah, I was an idiot and totally forgot that I have all sides have screws instead of just uh, two of the four sides. But I think I can kind of clean this puppy out and get rid of some of that. Uh, yeah, probably best for me to clean that out. So I'm gonna clean this out really quick, make sure, you know, the heat sink is actually working because that is covered in dust. I'll be back. So that's much better. My next step is to um, either disconnect these or I could probably just keep them on because I don't want to um, I tried pulling out this and it's just kind of like stuck Last thing I want to do is kind of rip it. So I'm going to unscrew everything and see what I get That was really easy. So this is the second time I've opened up one of these and granted each black box is a little bit different I did notice that there wasn't as much rust in this one as my previous black box when I opened it up first generation black box with two different power cords um, this one, not much um, damage on the inside at all. Granted, I didn't use it as, as long, but I think they got a little bit better with their construction. And then the previous black box, these were cracked right in this housing. And this one, not really cracked. So my plan is to get even spread. Now what I wanna do is make sure I don't kick these far LEDs out wider because they're already at the edge of their spread and I don't want to have them spreading too far out to the side. But what I want to do is remove all the inner LED lights because that's where all the blues and the reds and most of the whites are. The, the greens, the reds, and some of the whites are right in there. 
So I wanna do that, remove all these and keep the LED lights on the exterior part. That way the, the outsides are gonna be focused more down but the insides are spread out. So that's all I gotta do, just kinda pull these off. Whoop, that was easy. Super easy to do. Just pull up, done. All right, well, you guys don't really care to watch me do this, so I will pull those off. Now, I'm just gonna put them back together and just put this thing back together. And by the way, I accidentally pulled these off. They were super easy to put back on. I think I'm gonna keep all these as spare parts, even though I really have no clue what I'm gonna do with them. But we're all hoarders in the reef hobby because you never know when one of these cheap little commodity lenses is gonna come in handy. All right, time to put this puppy back together. Well, that was easy. So sometimes, you know, when you're DIYing and doing stuff, you run into tons of problems. That seems to be the story of my life. I can never do something and not have a screw up or something along the way. Uh, knock on wood, this is super easy. Now, could you use the light just like this? Yes, you could. You wouldn't notice any difference, probably. Um, you would get the good spread. Um, but this is all exposed, so all those LED lights are exposed. Now the whole point of the acrylic panel is to diffuse um, all the light that's coming through and to kind of blend it in. If you ever look at any of those Orphic Atlantic fixtures, they have a big piece of acrylic here that helps to diffuse it. Now, any standard acrylic will not be the same as their high quality acrylic that's been tested and everything. but. This is a budget light. This is a light from 2017 that would cost me like $110. I'm gonna put like a five, $10 piece of acrylic on it, call it a day. And then I get similar properties, not the best blending, but it's gonna be budget. So if you have one of these LED lights and you feel like doing one of these quick budget DIY things, go for it, man. This is super easy. You can see I got all the pieces right there. So let me get my acrylic, kind of measure it, cut it out, Cutting out is going to be the worst part about doing this entire project. And then um, put it on there. I have some black um, tape that I'm going to use. It's that Gorilla Tape. Super easy. You can get it for like nothing, like $5. I just have tons of tools. As you can see, I kind of collect tools or, you know, family members give me their tools, like my grandpa. So I have tons of everything just kind of laying around. So I like to do little DIY projects. But let me slap this crook piece on and then we'll see how it does. So this is an off cut of one of the, you know how I made that breeder box a while ago? It's like almost perfect. I don't want to cut anymore. I think I can get away with just doing this. What do you guys think? Let me see if I got another piece. It looks like this piece is the winner because other pieces have some holes drilled in them from when I was making that DIY box. You guys remember watching that when I bought a ginormous sheet, which happened to be 32 by 44. Yeah, so this is about the only piece left on that. So I could probably just cut it there and be done with it and make one cut. Yeah, too bad I got to use one of those stupid acrylic cutters, which I hate. But time to cut acrylic and then I'm gonna slap this puppy on there and be done with this nonsense. It's hot in this garage. I don't think I've ever mentioned this, but I despise cutting acrylic. It's horrible for me to cut. I can never make good straight lines. So that was pretty much it. I'm going to put this right here and tape it up. Well, obviously remove the protective sheet. I guess I could get some diffusion with, you know, this little plastic covering that they have on here, but eh, I don't really care. Some people like to frost this acrylic panel. I mean, you can, I just really don't want to. Honestly, it's too much work for me. This is already enough. I've been at this for only I don't know, 30-ish minutes, so this shouldn't be too hard for any newbie to do, especially because it doesn't take many tools. Screwdriver, acrylic, panel, you gotta get the cutter for it, and then that's it. You just put it on here and tape it up. 
All right, guys, I'm gonna tape this up. Just like that, it's done. You can't really tell that I have the black tape on here. And that's the same black tape, if you guys have been with me for a while, that I used for the pond liner underneath the tank, and it's done great, so I can't complain with Gorilla Glue all weather tape. The only thing I gotta say is, wow, I really wish this camera could capture the difference in what I see with my eyes. I see a way more diffused light. It actually looks a little bit more blue because it's probably diffusing the red and the greens a little bit more. I mean, I don't think you can see that. Hold on. So to the untrained eye, you probably wouldn't notice a difference at all in this light. What you probably do notice is that the outer lights are a little bit more vibrant and a little bit sharper than the inner lights. You can kind of see the ring that I made. So that's showing that the lights are way softer and way more diffused than um, if I had those 90 degree optics on, which would be penetrating way more. And I'm really thinking that this light is being blended way more than before. I changed the filters out and I still can't get a good representation of how good this light looks to me. I mean, it is what it is. I have limitations of a, a like a Samsung Galaxy S. You know, the S10 is older, so not as good as the new cameras, and it's not a dedicated camera, but I'm really enjoying this. So guys, that is how easy it is to upgrade your LED light. Now think about it, you get two of these guys. Now let's just say that you're on a budget. So let's look at this tank. You got three Radeon G4s, or G5s, sorry, blues. Each one is five or 420 bucks. We're gonna have 1200 bucks minimum, more than 1200 bucks. We're talking about, about 1300 bucks for those lights. Then you got the T5 hybrid setup, right? Another 450 bucks with the lights and everything. If you wanted to do something similar, not exactly, you're not gonna have all the controls, it's not gonna be as great, but if you're a newer reefer and you have a six foot tank, three of these lights will do you. Raise them up high, spread them out, heck, you could even get four of those lights and you're still in it for a little bit more than just one of those radions. Buy some acrylic, buy some of the tape, take off some of the LED, um, like lenses, and you're gonna get some good spread. You might have to raise them up a little bit higher, but I mean, I like my lights up higher anyway, so it doesn't really bother me. Um, if I was a newer reefer, I would for sure do this. I would get one of these black boxes. I would get um, some acrylic. I would do this modification. It's super easy. Well guys, that's all I got for you this time. If you like what you see here and you wanna see more, click the subscribe button and don't forget to give me a like and I will come back at you later with some more maybe DIYs, maybe tank updates. You don't, you never know what I'm gonna do. I kind of get, you know, a wild hair going and then I feel like I gotta do some projects. But stay tuned, it'll be interesting.